One 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 two one two microphone check. Hello, my friends. My name is Jarek, and welcome at our workshop. And sorry, forgive me for all my mistakes, but you know English is not my primary language. So, but I will try do my best. Okay, so today we will start with new cabinet for all my chisel for touring. Uh, it's, it was my wife, <laughs> she was, uh, hmm, I don't know what she was doing, but something like, <laughs> something with our um, stains, I think, for, for wood. Okay, so on the table so is a piece of beautiful Polish ash, I think, that's the species. It's uh, amazing wood with beautiful beautiful grains and uh, this one is of course uh, dry ready to use it's about I think 8 maybe 10 percent uh, so it's quite quite dry and of course first machine is a uh, table saw uh, with uh, sla uh, sliding 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 sorry sliding table so it's uh, very common in in Europe this one is uh, mm, Felder Hammer K3 winner so the first cut is of course to to make a first straight edge and then we can use mm, fence to, to make second second cut and mostly i'm using very universal um, sole of course i should uh, i should use special sole with uh, just a few teeth uh, teeths to to make just a you know um, long cut yeah okay so next machine is uh, planer and another one is thicknesser all machines uh, are from hammer uh, made in austria and this machine the um, thicknesser is with spiral head cutter head so the finishing is is nearly ready to, to finish uh, with uh, oil or uh, wax and now it's time to cut like this so it's quite easy and these two pieces will be I think it will be sides of this uh, cabinet and now is my special 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 sorry special jig to to cut uh, not parallel uh, it's very accurate because uh, on these two pieces I have measurements uh, to get exact um, place uh, for for so and uh, it's very easy to to um, to prepare it but of course you, you must uh, prepare it before cut like this and now it's time for measure and uh, mark when the holes will be uh, will be done I will use uh, 40 millimeter um, Forstner bit and uh, this dimension now uh, it will be uh, about 50, 50 millimeters so the gap between holes will be 10 millimeter it's enough I, I was uh, checked it uh, before and now dust and chips production a lot of drilling actually I I shoot but you know 
it was uh, totally spontaneous work. Uh, I should drill um, on two. Uh, I should drill two holes at the same time, but uh, I didn't. Uh, oh, never mind. Okay, so first uh, first holes was uh, through the material, and now is about uh, 10 millimeter depth and now uh, one of this uh, one of one of this board I uh, cut through the holes to get this uh, you see this uh, uh, top top uh, um, top panel uh, it will be about 10 centimeters uh, from the bottom uh, just to, to keep chisels uh, in place. So now I will check everything is okay or maybe maybe is uh, something wrong. And the chisel is uh, skew about uh, about ten percent. The angle, yeah, the angle uh, between bottom and this uh, second part, second board, is about uh, ten ten percent. Uh, sorry, not percent, degree, degree. Okay, and now I because. I don't like screws, so every time when I when I build some some stuff, I'm trying to avoid uh, uh, avoid the you know screw heads, and uh, this time I will use uh, Lamello uh, Zeta P2 and connector. It will be Clamex uh, P14, I think. And uh, it's quite easy to do, and uh, very strong connectors. And what can I say? I'm using is I'm using it or them very often. And now, okay, hand planes. Yeah, my new excellent tool, uh, Japanese Kana. Uh, just to, uh, just you know, uh, couple passes to to clean out the uh, skew cut yeah checked with uh, square and it's done and what's next aha yeah okay so now the the edges because uh, it was very sharp so i decided to use uh, 45 degree uh, cutter heat and this uh, rotor is very handy very small it's just a 12 volt uh, machine but is really really handy okay so next step yeah sanding and just cleaning uh, boards uh, the paper is uh, 220 or 240 and it will be ready to to yeah <laughs> it was pretty sucks <laughs> my truth was uh, I, I take I, mm, I take uh, a polyurethane polyurethane varnish and it was I don't know maybe this uh, this, this can was uh, old or, or something but my finger was pain like I don't know <laughs> but I finished and after a couple hours uh, next uh, next job is uh, sending and uh, with uh, oscillating uh, sander uh, this one is uh, very 
Hmm. Very soft. The, it, there is only 1.6 millimeter movement. So with paper to 20 is excellent uh, to, to clean, uh, clean material. And of course, after sanding, I must clean all these pieces with uh, a compress a compressor and I am putting another coat. Actually, I should put, I think, three coat coats to, to get um, shiny look. But two is enough, you know, it's, it's workshop, it's not uh, furniture for house, so two will be enough. And after that work, I decided to add another piece on the front of uh, this cabinet just to avoid the hmm, falling out the chisels uh, so I, I decided to use uh, sm uh, small two dowels 6 millimeter dowels it's enough you know it's uh, it don't it, it don't have no sorry okay never mind <laughs> sorry again for my English and now it's time to connect uh, connect all the, the pieces together and that's it nearly <laughs> because when I uh, when I uh, connect all these pieces Actually, I decided that this uh, front thin piece on the, uh, is too thin and is wobbling and it's not exactly what I want. And this, uh, this, this work right now is just, you know, clean all the uh, connection places. So chisel at my hand and couple minutes uh, work in quiet and what's next okay so now I, I I'm I will do this um, part in the middle to, to keep all this uh, three pieces together So, yes, yeah, another hand saw. It's a Japanese Ryoba. Couple cuts and 10 millimeter thick material will be uh, will be ready. And I will use just instant glue. Uh, I think it was a tight bond in in gel I was in hurry <laughs> I should do I should use of course another um, but this glue was uh, it was uh, instant glue specially for wood so it it should it should keep uh, these pieces together and now time to put this shelf uh, put the cabinet on the wall it's not very heavy, but a cup, couple kilograms, I think. Uh, okay, two screws, it's enough. Uh, if not, I will put another piece of wood uh, under, the, under the shelf, but I think it will be good. Okay, so now the, now the, the best part of work. Uh, when you when you can you know put all this uh, all these chisels and uh, check if it's fit okay or maybe not maybe I will check you know the um, the position of the chisels but is the for sure is is the the most um, the best part of this job. And one box 
yeah is there is not no no place for this uh, small chisels but this one is specially for pen or small touring so it will uh, uh, it's mostly for my kids okay thank you very much for watching this video please tell me what you think if you um, if you want more English version of my videos if you have any suggestion for this type uh, of work, I will be very grateful. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.